Hello, this is Annette Henderson from Camden Street Design. I am coming to you live today. To, we're gonna to do a little bit of blending. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I am located, I have a booth at James Southworth and Company. Um, it is 1870 Meadow Creek Road, um, Gladstone, Virginia. So if anybody's from Virginia, please like, let me know um, where you're from and um, Anyway, we will get started with this blend. I'm doing a table. I have a set of two coffee tables, well, two end tables and a coffee table. And I'm guessing, I mean, it has some, like a veneer on top of it. And um, it has uh, the MDF, like a particle board underneath and everything. So I guess some of it is real wood, some of it's not real wood and um, so anyway, um, what I did was, all right, so here's the story. I, I bought it and I'm gonna flip it. That's the plan anyway, cause I mean, who else is like me? I go out and I buy furniture and my husband's gonna kick me out if I don't get rid of some of this stuff. So anyway, the plan was coffee table, two end tables. They were all wooden and I wanted to like give them more of a country, I guess finish or anything uh, or whatever and um, so anyway what I did was I cleaned them really good with white lightning I don't know if you any of you use the white lightning it comes in the crystals and you mix it with warm water it says mix I think two teaspoons to a gallon of water I will do that if I have a lot of stuff I'll just pull it all out and onto the patio and I'll wash everything down at one time because that's one of the things I hate to do is prep prep work is the most important thing, but it's one of the things that is, it is just daunting to me. So anyway, cleaned it with white lightning, got that done, uh, cleaned it off, rinsed it off, made sure you get all the residue off of it and dried it. So the legs, I'm just gonna turn you around a little bit here. The legs, I've already started some of this stuff. So anyway, the legs were real, kind of slick. So what I did, I was gonna scuff sand, but I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna go and be a little bit safer and I'm gonna use the slick stick. And the slick stick, I don't know if any of you have used a slick, a slick stick or not, but the slick stick is, is a primer. A, it, keep, it makes the like paint adhere to a slick surface. You can use it on plastic. You can use it on you know slick woods. Um, the fake woods. Actually behind me, which we're gonna be playing with is a, um, a metal um, saw blade. And I went ahead and cleaned that really good and I uh, put two coats of the um, slick stick on that as well. So anyway, if you're, if you're on here, um, just kind of give me a shout out and um, let me know where you're listening from um, or tuning in from. Uh, I'll try to see the comments, but uh, I'm having a hard time with the phone. So anyway, um, if I don't see them, I don't answer, I will go back and I will answer them after the, the, I get off of here. But anyway, what we're gonna do today, first off, is I'm gonna tell you about this table. So my plan was, I've always wanted to do something in vintage duck egg. Very pretty, very pretty color. I've always wanted to do something. And something else I need to like tell, as I really don't have, ever have a plan when I go in to do furniture. I always have, um, I just let the furniture talk to me, unless I'm doing something for someone that sp specifies what they want. So, but normally I don't have a plan. I just clean the furniture and I start painting. Well, I had a plan this time. I was gonna do duck egg, vintage duck egg. And I was going to do the top in the no pain gel stain walnut. I think that would be very, very pretty. So I painted two coats. Well, the first coat of vintage jug egg, I painted it on there. And it just didn't, I just didn't feel right about it. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna give it some time. I'm gonna put a second coat on and I'm gonna sleep on it. And I'll look at it tomorrow. So anyway, I did that. And when I came down here to the studio the next day, it's like, no, it's just not working. This is just not. I wasn't happy with it. So anyway, I pulled out the old drop cloth and I went ahead and painted it with drop cloth. So then I've decided I was gonna do the drop cloth 
which I think would be very pretty with the um, the no, the walnut no pain gel stain. And um, then I said, well, you know, let's do a little bit of blending. And so I, <clears throat> I started doing the blending, and what I'm going to uh, using is the the darker is mud puddle, which I really like mud puddle. I mean, it's just a nice neutral brown. I mean, I just, I like it. I just get, I don't know. It reminds me of those of you who drinks or something. I don't know. I like it. But anyway, so I'm going, I'm doing a blend with the, the mud puddle and sandbar, which, oh my gosh, I love sandbar. Um, it's just, it has that country beachy kind of look to it. And I just love that. So I'm blending with those into the drop cloth. And I went ahead and I started one to get one coat on there. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna do, uh, put a fresh coat on this one here. And then, um, then we'll go back to this one and do the blending. So anyway, let, let me get this stuff situated. <clears throat> and um, has anybody, um, does anybody use Dixie Bell paint? Hey, Kayla, how are you? Are you? Where are you watching from, Kayla? Let's see. Um, so I went ahead and I covered one of my brushes up. Have, um, has anybody used the Dixie Bell brushes? They are awesome. Hard to get, but they're awesome. Hey, Patty. Glad that you're tuning in. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn you around here and we're gonna put a fresh coat on this one leg that just has just the drop cloth on it. So let me see if I can, hey Sue. All right, let's see. Please excuse the mess in the back. Who else's workshop looks like this? So I'm just gonna go around and I don't know if you can see on here, but there's a little divot in the leg. And honestly, I should have went in with the Dixie mud and filled that in. But frankly, I was just a little too lazy to do it. And I said, well, just go with it. So my plan is to do the blending on the legs. And then afterwards, I will probably go in with the like a glaze. I'm not sure exactly which glaze because around the table it has detail and then of course the legs have detail on them too. I don't know if you can see that. Let me tilt that down a little bit. You can see the little detail there. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go in with a glaze and do that. And I think that would bring it all together, you know, tone it really well and make it look really good with the, um, the, uh, walnut stain on the top. And I don't know about y'all, but I am such a messy, messy painter. I, um, well, you know, when I was a kid, I could never just paint and I, mean, I never could color the lines. I always had to go out of the lines. Just kind of, I, I call it free form. I'm a free form painter also. What's everybody doing today? I hope so somebody's doing something fun. All right, so I got that on there. And now I'm going to go in with the um, sandbar. My brush damp. gonna go around and follow that and just get a good coat of that on there you know I don't know to do a live with blending I don't know why I chose something little like this why couldn't I just do something like really big it makes it a little bit easier to blend I think it's like it's when you're doing legs like it's kind of hard but anyway, I have never done anything the easy way. If anybody has any questions, please just feel free to uh, ask them. And if you um, 
If I like, I don't see them, I will, like I said, I will come back and I will look at them and answer them to the best of my ability. How many of y'all have ever painted something and then just decided, nope, that wasn't it? Just the paint, the color wasn't gonna do it for you. Does it happen to anybody? All right, now I'm gonna just blend a little bit of the drop cloth at the bottom. Just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to, and did I get a, did I miss it? I missed a spot. Missed a spot. There we go. Now, I've got that on there. I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. And we're gonna come on over to this one here, the one that I've already have put a coat, a couple coats of paint on, and we're gonna do some blending on this. So, all right, let's start with the dark. Go with the mud puddle. painted furniture for a while I mean when I was you know growing up and you know I forgot when I first got married I you know buy some cheap furniture like everybody and I you know started painting and everything and I would just use whatever the, you could buy it like Lowe's or wherever whatever hard sto hardware store and uh, I never had used um, chalk paint I'm telling you chalk paint is the bomb especially if you like doing the blends, I mean, it just works so well together. Um, all right, so I've got that. And when you would do a blending, you wanna make sure you have whatever, uh, well, it depends on how many colors you're blending. And I'm doing something very easy. It's like the colors are so close together that it will, you know, um, it'll be a little bit easier to blend. It's not like I'm going something like from like a dark, blue to like a, a light color, so. But, anyway, I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was saying now. Oh, brushes. So anyway, you wanna make sure you have a brush for each color, and then you wanna have a brush that is like a blending brush um, that you um, can go in and that way you could feather the colors out and make the, and make the blend easier. And, and better so all right and now go in with a little bit of the drop cloth can everybody hear me okay give me a thumbs up you can hear it all right I don't see anything. Can anybody hear me? All right. Hey, Linda, where are you watching from? All right, so now I've got a coat on, a second coat, a wet coat. Now we're gonna do a little bit of blending. And I've got the um, oval medium that I'm going to use to blend. Ah, thumbs up. Yay. 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 All right. And I'm this, I'm not going to, um, wet this right now. I'm just going to just go in with a dry brush and, and I'm going to go in every direction. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to probably have to put a little bit of water on it. It's so, so well, it's not as humid as it has been, but it is pretty, pretty warm in here. You want to tap off the excess.
So I have added the links for the um, for Dixie Bell because if you want any products or anything, if you see something that you like, um, you can find out, go to your local retailer. And if you don't know who your local retailer is, all you have to do is click on the link and Dixie Bell has a great locator. Can you just put your zip code in and it tells you where your local retailer is. There's also a link um, that I have an affiliate link that you're welcome to use also. But if you are able to go to the retailer, they would greatly appreciate it. I know I do when people come to my store. Blend a little bit back here, a little bit more. Tap off the excess. All right. Okay, so who else? Who else is like me? They go out and buy furniture and then bring it and just kind of hide it from their significant other. They just like sneak it into the house without them looking and then put a bunch of stuff on it so they think it's there the whole time. Anybody else do that? Or am I the only one? I know I'm not the only one. It could not be the only, only one that does that. All right, so I'm liking the blend. And like I said, once I get finished with all the blending and all the, the paint and everything, then I'm going, hey, Deborah, I'm going to go in with, I'm thinking the glaze because the glaze will act as a um, top coat. Um, I think I'm gonna do that in a that way it'll bring out all the accents and the details. And um, I thought about that or the, or the wax, but I think, I think I'm gonna do it with the glaze. So that is what the plan is. I've got a little bit of dark that needs added to that. All right. Has anybody got any fun projects going on that you're doing? I just find painting to be so relaxing. I just, like I said, well, I started telling you about, I hadn't really painted a long time. Um, I painted, you know, things throughout the years, but um, I guess a lot, like, like a lot of people, this past year, um, we were at home, even though I have a job that I go out every, you know, it never, I never worked from home. It's always, always was there. Um, but on the weekends, you know, we were pretty much at home. And uh, so I started with a buffet and uh, I bought some paint just from like the hardware store. Like I said, I always did. And I just didn't like the feel of it. I didn't like the result. Um, and then I, oops. I got online and I started finding, you know, people like um, Tracy's Fancy and different people. And uh, I discovered the Dixie Belle paint. And I'm like, well, let me get some of that and see what that's all about. Man, that's all I had to do was get some of that paint and um, use it one time. And I was hooked. I was hooked. Right. Yeah, I'm liking the looks of this a lot. And for anybody that comes to watch this after it's already gone off, it's not watching it live, just put in, do me a favor, put in a hashtag saying replay. And that way I can, um, you know, see who all's uh, on here and everything. 
And I've also added a um, link to my page and also to Dixie Belt on there. So I'd appreciate it if you share this video and, um, and maybe possibly go to my page and like it and follow it. Um, we'll be doing finishing up some projects over there as well. I've got a couple things going. So I would love to have you over there. All right, I am liking that. I don't know if you can really see it that well on the camera and everything, but I'm liking it. So now we're gonna go back to the other one that we just freshly painted and see how that, hopefully we can blend it. Hopefully it's not too wet. I'm gonna scooch over here and tilt you down a little bit. All right, now let's go. Since this is freshly, it's not too dry already. I don't think I need to add any more to it. So we'll just go in to see if we can blend. We can just water and chalk paint. It's like a magic combination. Because chalk paint is a water base. It has no VOCs. It's very, no you know, smell or anything. It's not toxic, so it's really great. I've used it, let's see, Guilt, somebody's guilty of something. Guilty of getting furniture and hiding it from your, your significant other, or your spouse. I'd actually, we worked at the same place. We had different shifts and I'd actually would go when I wanted to be, get, pick up a piece of furniture and didn't want him to know about it. And I would go get his vehicle and take it and pick the furniture up. And then I would like tell him, oh, I just needed to get the truck and um, pick up chicken feed or whatever it would be. And I would take the truck and leave my car. And then I'd come home and I'd get the, the furniture out and hide it before he got home. Not that he would say anything anyway. He just kind of looks at me like, really? Really in it? You gotta start getting rid of some of the stuff. So, some of the stuff, I got some humongous pieces I'm gonna paint. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more of sandbar to this back side over here. Hit it with a little bit of drop cloth, which is what I use for the base. <laughs> After the vintage duck egg was a, didn't work. But I do have plans for the vintage duck egg, but just not for these tables. Just was not, not meant for the tables. All right. I don't know if you can see. I see, and the chalk paint is so versatile also. I mean, you can do so many things with it. Um, you can paint like your canvases. I've got a canvas I'll show you. I'm not really a canvas painter, but I'm doing this one for my daughter. Maybe I'll have it done by her birthday. But I started I just wanted to see what it would do. And I wanted to kind of push myself as well as a creative to see what I could do. I'm gonna turn the table around just a little bit. And I don't know if y'all can see it, that little divot like right there. I should have went ahead and used the Dixie Bell mud on there, but um, Oh, let's see, you're painting tops of nesting tables with the stencil. Oh, yeah, which stencil are you using? I like the stencils. I've got a table that I'm gonna do stencils on, but I need to cut the stencil. I ordered an extra stencil of the Moroccan, Morocco, I think. And, but I just don't, I need to cut it because it can't, it won't fit. 
the way I want to do it, but I just, I'm scared. I don't want to cut it either. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I, I, I'm just going to have to like, just do it. Just do it. No pain, no gain, right? All right. And I will probably later on come back and maybe do another, a second coat of this because this has only the one coat of the dark and the um, sandbar on it. This one has the two coats and I can, I can tell a difference. So I, I'm probably gonna come back after this dries and do this again um, and see. Um, sorry about that. Too many distractions here. Not used to this little tripod -y thing. I feel like I'm gonna flip it over. Uh, I got a, a funny story. <laughs> and I probably, I, I, I should, should be embarrassed to even tell it. But anyway, I did a Facebook Live on my page this well, last week. And I um, used the Dixie Bell patina paints. Have you, has anybody used the patinas? You know, I was, I've been kind of holding off to use them because I really wasn't sure. I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And so I did. And what I did it on was I found a skull. And I said, well, I'll paint the skull. So I painted the skull. I can't remember, I think maybe sawmill gravy is what I painted it. Cause it was like, I found it like in a, it was at a barn and everything. And so I painted the skull to get it all one color. So then I went ahead and used the patina paint and I did the gold, I mean the copper, the amber, copper, amber, and the iron. I did like three stripes on each side. And <laughs> so anyway, it turned out really cool. And I was showing it off on my Facebook Live after the fact. And I'll show it to you because I got it right here. Now, if anybody of y'all have cattle, you may know this right away when you see it. But I did not because I thought it was a skull. And it turned out really cool. You know, so I did the paint on one side, the like the um the iron. I think the copper and the amber, and then I used the green um, spray on one side and the blue spray on the other side. And I didn't, the blue spray, no, the green, the blue spray on the iron on this side didn't really do much, not like it did over here. And I, I think I've applied enough. And so anyway, <laughs> I went back and I put some of the green on there to bring it, I mean, yeah, the green on there to bring it to make it more rust so, that, so you can see the rust and everything. So the other day I was in here, I was talking to my nephew who's in college and I'm like, look what I did. I said, I did a skull, isn't it cool? He said, net, that's not a skull. I'm like, what do you mean it's not a skull? This is where the eyes were. This is where the horns were. He said, that is not a skull. So of course he Googles, it's a hip bone. So I did a hip bone, but don't you think it looks cool? I mean, couldn't it be like a alien skull or something? I don't know. I think it looks cool though, but it's kind of embarrassing. So I think I need to go back onto my page and like, look, cause everybody liked it, you know? They thought it was really cool. And I'm actually gonna display it up there at my booth. Um, but you know, when the, where my booth is, is like where a bunch of men come in for the lawnmowers and everything. And I know they're going to like, know that's not a cow skull. It's going to be a hip bone, a hip bone. But it turned out really cool. So anyway, the versatility of Dixie Bell paint. You can paint skulls. You can paint canvases. Here is my little canvas. My daughter likes owls. So all this is, um, I custom mixed some of the paint on there to make some of the, like the orangey colors and everything because the paint's mixed so good together. 
But um, so anyway, I'm working on this. And I've got to do, I've got, I don't know if you can see it, but I drew like a little branch and some, some leaves and I'll put some detail in there. I'm going to try to give it kind of a bohemian feel. I don't know why the kid likes, um, likes owls, but she does. And so I figured I'd paint her one. Hopefully it turns out okay. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is a little bit of blending on this um, saw, saw blade here. One of my clients brought it into me. He had it. He said, do something with it. So what I'm going to do is he sent me a picture of like a childhood farm. Uh, I think it was his granddad's farm or something and it has a barn on there and everything. So I think what I'm going to do is paint a scene. My, you know, I, the way I look, I see it, you know, as far as like the barn and everything. So, um, so I, what I did was I cleaned it really good. I actually got a grinder and got some of the rust that was off on it, off of it, and then painted it with the slick stick two coats. So anyway, what I've got, I'm gonna see my stand up here. Hopefully get your looking over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, can you see it? And I have got the Dixie Belle Mint Julep and Evergreen, and then I got Haint Blue and Dixie Belle Blue. And I've got one of the chip brushes, and I don't know why I'm crooked. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. I don't know, maybe I made it worse. Did I make it worse? All right, so I got one of the chip brushes, and has anybody used the um, Scarlet brush? Give me a thumbs up if you watch, the, if you use the Scarlet brush. The brushes are awesome. I, I've not used the Scarlet brush because every time I try to order the brushes, they're always out of stock and I always miss it. So Dixie Belle, let me know when they're in so I can get them. So I'm having to cheat today. I'm not, I'm using another brush because I don't have the Scarlet, but this is what I, I would use the Scarlet if I had the Scarlet. So I'm just gonna dampen the chip brush, which the chip brushes are great. They are, they're, uh, you know, they're natural bristles, I think. Um, and they're not the same as what the Scarlet brush would be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the sky first. And what I did was sling plate. I took a just cheap plastic plate that I got, covered it with the like the little cling wrap stuff, and um, I got my colors on there. And I'm just going to load them up like that. And I'm just going to start with the sky. I just, that's why I love Dixie Belle paint and the chalk paint is because it blends like a dream. I need to miss a little water on there. Spread it a little bit more. So I'm gonna do the sky and then the grass and then I'll come in and I'll draw like the barn and I may attempt a tractor. Um, his dad had an old, like, old tractor. So, I, and I do have a picture of that as well. And I think I'm going to attempt to draw a tractor. But I've never drew, drove, I mean, drawn a tractor before. I've never actually drove a tractor before either, other than a lawnmower. So what I, I'm going to do with this after I paint it, I will probably go ahead and coat it with gator hide. Um, it's going to be inside. He's going to have it inside his business. Um, but I will probably go ahead and coat it with gator hide just to be on the safe side. Um, but I mean, look, look at that. I mean, can you imagine the sunsets and sunrises you could paint with this stuff? All right, so 
Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the grass or the ground. And I'm going to go in with the evergreen and the mint julep. Now, honestly, I've never put these two together as far as like blending. So I'm not sure what it's going to turn out to look like, but this green and I can always paint over it if it doesn't look right, but I think it's going to be fine. Oh yes, it's going to be fine. I, basically they kind of mixed together more so than what the, the blues did. But I'll go in, actually I'll probably go in with a little bit of the mud puddle that I used a little while ago and add some of that in there too. Has anybody painted on steel before? Like, or anything? I've never painted steel before. This is the first time I've painted steel. And I'll put, I'll come back and put the barn somewhere right in here. about that so much because that's where the barn's going to be but anyway i think this is going to be cool and it's all said and done providing i can get a tractor on there that looks decent and the barn will look good as well but anyway my blending i'm happy with this one here i'm happy with my blending like i said i'm going to come back and do a second coat on this leg here and, um, and then I'll, we'll cover it with, uh, make a, a glaze for the detail and um, to make it stand out some. And then I'll put the um, no pain gel stain on the top and the walnut. So I'm planning on doing that on this page on Saturday at one o'clock. So if you are not doing anything, come on back and hang out with me and we'll see how it turns out. And, um, I've put links in above my head for Dixie Bell to find your local retailer if you don't know where you are, where your retailer is. Also it has an affiliate link that is on there that if you happen to use that, I'd get a little tiny bit of money from that, which I appreciate. But anyway, if you have local, go local. And if you are watching this later, not live, please put hashtag replay and run over to find my uh, page. It's Camden Street Design. And um, like and follow and share this video. And I really appreciate everybody taking their time to come on and blend with me. And I think that's, it. oh, have you tried? Have you played with the filters? I was sitting here, I was counting down my time to one o'clock to come on and the filters came on, man, they had the one I did with the makeup. Uh, it looked like, I don't know, it looked like a movie star. I'm like, why can't we just walk around with filters? I was so tempted just to leave it on and do my live with the filter on, but I, I'm not, I don't think they would like that so much. But anyway, you got me, old me. So anyway, thank you. Please like and share. And if you're not a member of the um, Chalk Mineral Enthusiast page, the link is on there too. So go ahead and go on there and set your notifications. So when we all come on here and do our live, you will get notifications and you won't miss anything because you don't want to miss anything. So anyway, y'all have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all Saturday. Thanks.